Welcome to the Church of Jesus Christ. This particular session of the Church of Jesus Christ is what we call the Tuesday Nighters. This is our weekly book club, and this is a new iteration of what we do on Tuesday nights. This is the 38th week that we've done this. And in short form, we put an assignment out, everyone reads in advance, and then we discuss openly. This first couple minutes is, is just a class. The discussion we usually don't put online, so all that will be recorded and sent out on, on YouTube will be just this, this session of, of introduction. So having said that, let's do some introducing. Jesus backs his prophets is what I call this. Isaiah, Samuel, and Malachi. Let's see why. This is what you've done over the last 37 weeks. It's incredible. In short form, you've done 214 chapters, more than 5,300 verses, almost 145,000 words, and 65 hours of discussion. Let's get to the class so that then we can get to the discussion. So this is 3rd Nephi 23, 24, and 25. That's three chapters, a total of only 38 verses and 1,216 words. A very, very short assignment, although covering, spanning three chapters. Some thoughts about the prophecies and commentaries in these three chapters uh, go this way. Asking the question, why do you think Jesus commanded the Josephites to read the prophet Isaiah? Why would he say that? Remember that they did not have a whole lot of records when they went to the Americas. But he told them to read these. He said it this way, search these things diligently for great are the words of Isaiah. Why did Jesus command Nephi to go back and add the events of Samuel the Lamanite into the Nephite record? He said it this way, how be it that ye have not written this thing? And he goes on, Jesus commanded that it should be written. What do you think about the events in both Jerusalem and the Americas? with those who had died before him. Many saints did arise and appear unto many and did minister unto them. Many saints did arise and appear unto many. Who was the messenger, the refiner, the purifier that Jesus showed through Malachi's words? The messenger of the covenant, a refiner and purifier of silver. These, again, are just trying to provoke, provoke some thought. Jesus noted that Malachi's comments, uh, comments on Israel drifting away from God. How long was this taking place? How long had this taken place? From the days of your fathers, you are gone away from mine ordinances, he says. Many think sin is the worst it's ever been today. You hear it all the time. Oh, things today are so much worse than when, when I was a kid. What was Malachi reporting that Jesus repeated? Here's what the verse says. 24th chapter, the 15th verse. Now we call the proud happy. Yea, they that work wickedness, they that tempt God. It seems that sin has always been. Was it global warming or some punishment sent from the heavens that Malachi saw 2,500 or so years ago. For behold, the day comes that they, that shall burn the proud as an oven, shall burn them up. What exactly was he seeing in his prophecy? Did Malachi see Elijah returning to life after he had lived 900 years prior, 3,000 years from here backwards? I will send you Elijah the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day. Fabulous. When Jesus quotes from the prophets, he points to the events of his time, and then he looks forward to our time. And it seems that much easier to understand just how connected all of mankind has always been. When he does this, he's tying all of this together. By looking back, we can see of the truth of what was, but also we can grasp what is to come. Do you see yourself as an eyewitness to some of the prophecies of old? Are these the days that they were speaking of? What do you think you might still see in your time? And I know I'm speaking to different aged people, so some of you may answer differently than others. Are you ready 
to view what is to be. Does this change anything for you? All right, let's talk about some of the prophecies and what any of us, even all of us, might see. Let's talk past, present, and future through the eyes of Jesus Christ. <laughs> 